Self-service business intelligence is enormously popular these days. And that is for a reason. Self-service business intelligence allows to quickly combine and blend corporate data with non-corporate data. It allows business users to quickly combine data from their own enterprises with data that they get from external sources like the web, like big data sources, like weather information, all kinds of information even coming from web services. Especially the very low adoption curve of self-service business intelligence makes that the use of these components extremely gross during the last two years. But there's also a disadvantage. Because so many people are start using self-service business intelligence, there is a real need for standardizing the data visualization techniques used. Enterprises need to come to a standard the standards are needed to prevent from a wild grow of different sorts of analysis. On the screen, you see a typical way of analyzing these days of an analysis that in a sense doesn't make sense at all. What you see is the actual budget and forecast compared over the years. This looks at first sight quite impressive. But if you look a little bit closer, it is very hard for the user or the receiver of the information, for example, to compare, compare the actual versus budget for 2013 April versus the actual versus budget for 2013 February. It means we need to come to a standard to avoid from creating this kind of Christmas tree analysis. On my website, ivovandezand.com, you find some very interesting documentation regarding standards. For the moment, the core standard in the world is the standard of the IBCS, International Business Communication Standards, sponsored and guided by Professor Dr. Hickert and Jürgen Feist. They have created a standard, which I describe on my website, where you typically over here can see what happens when you create, when you start from a normal visualization with a lot of um, colors and uh, different types of visualizations towards the standard, which is very limited in color and has very clear way of informing the user what is meant. The standards are based on the so-called success formula, which I describe on my website. The success formula stands for SAY, very clearly mentioning what your analysis is all about, unify, condense, there's a check mechanism in there, there's an expression mechanism specifically talking what kind of visualization to use in what situation, a simplification process, and there's a process regarding structure. One of the outcomes of the success IBCS standards are the graphomates. Using SAP Lumira, I can show you how graphomates charts look like and how you can better visualizations like this. If I use the exact same data and put that in a graphomate, then this would be the result. Over here, you can clearly see, in this case, I took the forecast. You can clearly see how the forecast evolved. Watch that there was simplification in the analysis, avoiding almost anything. Even the y-axis is um, avoided, and you see that there was no legend at all. Color coding in the RBCS standards is primarily black, white, and gray for actual budget and forecast. And you see that there was a lot of use of so-called variance indicators. And the variance indicators do have colors, only two, green and red. I have some more examples of the so-called graphomate charts that apply to the IBCS standards. On the screen, you can see a few of the examples that I created with the exact same data set, which provides insights that do not allow for any discussion whatsoever. They are very clear in communicating the information as it should be done. 
If I create a story based on this visualization, you can see the techniques and the possibilities that are possible within the RBCS charts from Graphomate. On the screen, you see an example. And if I tick the properties, you can see that the Graphomate charts allow for different settings that you can set um, to uh, more clarify the series on your map. For example, these different lines over here clearly indicating an absolute and relative uh, metrics, the difference between two series. In this example, I choose January and May to compare. Yeah? Above, you see again the uh, dynamic branch uh, differences between the different lines for actual forecast and budget. I can absolutely recommend you to download or even purchase the Graphomate charts for SAP Lumira. They are really useful and I've tested them, them with a lot of my customers who all are going to standardize and apply to the IBCS rules. Thanks for your attention.